Welcome new patient. We will call you thing. You will meet your bunkmate, old goat, in a few minutes. But first, some rules. This place is haunted. Hush, thing. We work on a point system here. You get points for good behavior. A point for making your bed. A point for taking a shower. Five points if you brush your teeth. Then you save your points and exchange them for candy bars. You are wise people. Help. Help. We have to get patient scum back into the timeout chair. What did he do? We caught him masturbating in the TV room. Ha 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 ha. Watch out, thing. This is inappropriate laughter. Would you like to go to the timeout chair? Rakru. Is that Chinese? No, it's Waiwani. It's a small island near Antarctica where they crochet penguin hats for the tourists. Oh, okay. Now it's time to torment patient scumbag. Hey scumbag, you will go to hell for masturbating to Christian TV. Are your palms growing hair? God is going to strike you down. He was jacking it to a lady preacher. Leave him alone. Patient thing, we enjoy this. It's our sport. Leave her you go in the chair next. We like to put patients in the chair, then make fun of them to try to get them to explode, because it's fun to watch. I am going to call my good friend Dan rather at 60 minutes. You assholes are toast. Enjoy it when CBS comes to town and puts you on TV showing how you mistreat people. Patient thing, please accept this cup of coffee with caffeine as a bribe to keep Dan rather away. It is too late. He will be here in a day or two and you will all be on national TV and the world will know what hicks you are here in Anna, Illinois. And you have the nerve to call the Mexican fruit pickers bad names. Look in the mirror, uneducated, unwashed trash. Oh, and Dan Rather. Scene 2. <gasps> Why is that man tied to the bed? Why won't you help him? He says he is having a heart attack. Oh, that's patient dumb tard. He drinks too much water, so we have to keep him tied to the bed. You must release him. This is wrong. He is scared and peeing on himself. That's good. Patient dumb tart is a pain in our ass. If you would all stop reading the National Enquirer and playing cards, you could keep an eye on him. Patient thing, you must go to the timeout chair. You need many more drugs. We will inform the doctor. This is a horrible place and I'll make sure the world knows it. How long has that man been in restraints? Weeks. You should all burn in hell for your sins. Maybe you should talk to your friend who whacks off to the Christian preacher lady on TV. This place is filthy. You abuse people. You leave them in restraints for weeks in their own sheet. You laugh at them. Push old people down. Call people names. Dan Rather and scene. This has been a true story.